ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Albert Kapala. Today I'm going to show you how you can create uh, uh, records, items, and the value sets in CS4. Uh, I'm going to use this questionnaire, which has three major parts, household identification, demographic, and also characteristics. In CS4, these we are called like, we are calling them records. So we have three records. So we shall create three records in your CS4 program. And also we have some questions. In each topic, we have some questions. You see in demographic, we have these sort of questions in roster. Um, and also in household characteristics, we have question 15 up to uh, 24. These questions are called the items. And uh, choices like this does name have certificate? Yes, no, yes, no. Uh, in CS Pro, is called value set. So, this is the question. Uh, in CS Pro, this question we are calling it as an uh, item, and also we are having this option yes, no, as value set. So, we normally have records, items, and value set. So I'm going to start with the first record, the first topic on household identification. I'm going to divide this identification into two subparts. Uh, one to six will be the first part, and then seven to twelve will be the second part. We have CS Pro 7.3, then you have to double click it, and then we are going to have these two options, then the first, we have to pick the first one. So this is the first time you are, you are, you are creating your, your, your program. Then you have to select the copy data entry application. And this is the main purpose for our, 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 our training. Then you have to create the data entry application file. Then it, 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 uh, and then create that one. Then we are going to create the the file for our dictionary, then you have to click these three dots. If you click them, then I'm going to name it as HSS Dict. Then save. Say OK. HSS doesn't exist. You have to create it, say yes. OK. This is the way on how to, to open the, the data entry application. And then it, by default, CS Pro have already started the creating some variables whereby you need to, to, to proceed uh, from there. And then uh, we have to customize these, uh, uh, these variables depending on our questionnaire. If you see, for the first part, they said that we are going to create six records with uh, six items from the first record. This is the identification part. We have identification part, demographic, and also characteristics. And they say that these are records. Then this is the first, the first uh, variable, uh, the first record, and then uh, this is the second one. They say that the identification part will be divided into two. Therefore. I would say that it is the identity, identification tool, and also oh, identification tool, ident two, and also uh, the, the the next record is demographic. The other one is the household characteristics. But demographic is uh, is a roster with twelve with the twelve rows. So I have to add a record. Add record demographic. Demographic maximum one is twelve because we have twelve rows. Then the other one is the output characteristics. That one is not zero. Then you have to escape. 
Now we have already created these three records. Now the next uh, stage we have to create these, we have to include these questions in each record. We have to include. So we have to include those um, those records, those questions. So now modify this is region region with the, the length with the length two. If you go through uh, my questionnaire, this one I've got two boxes. It means that this is the length, length two. This is with the length two again, word three, etc., etc., etc. So that's why we are. That's why I'm saying that maybe for this one, region had the name length two. Then add item uh, district uh, length two word length e and then we have ea uh, sorry we have um, ta, um, ta village in, in village of ta in town so that is the way how to you can create uh, items in cs4 now we've already created the uh, items in all three records now we are going to include a value set in each. We have to put it, we have to include names of the region where the survey is going to be implemented. For our case, we are, we are having only a few regions. These ones, uh, five. So there are different ways on how to, to, to include the, the value sets. For example, here I have uh, Dodoma, Kilimanjaro, Dar es Salaam, Ilinga, and then uh, Njombe. Then Dodoma, Kilimanjaro, Dar es Salaam, Ilinga, and Njombe. You may just uh, right click on respective, you have to select the, 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 the intended variable, then you have to right click, then add value set. You have said that is Dodoma, which is one, Kilimanjaro, uh, three, uh, sorry, sorry, Kilimanjaro, Manjaro, which is three, um, Adivaro, Kilimanjaro, then Dalislam, Seven, then Iringa, eleven, and then Jombe, oh, sorry, Jombe, twenty-two. This is the first way how to to light these valves. But sometimes you may light them. This is, this is the first way how to light these value sets. But you may light them in Excel, like this one. And then you just copy and paste over here. I'm going to read those before. Uh, copy. And then paste. Like that. For this is word village enumeration area. Uh, which I will include... Uh, the, 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 the value sets for this word village and AA using external files. So this will be covered into the next uh, videos. Household number, suppose we are going to pick uh, 15 household in each enumeration area. Then I have to copy these numbers and the pasting there. So that to simplify the work of Enumerators so that uh, they will just be picking the tapping the, the, the number instead of writing them. Now, the second part of identification name of whether we also date to interview here and then mobile number supervised enumerator results. Thus, I've already included 
the code for users over here then you just copy and paste over there just for interview then uh, coming to name relation to the head of household relation of head of household then you just uh, copy relationship to the head of household just to copy the, the, the codes over there and then uh, paste so that is the way then you have to proceed with the sexy um, sexy any marital status just copying and pasting copying and pasting but you have to first of all you have to be prepared you have to prepare these uh, codes in your code book uh, well written and then later on you will include them uh, by copying and pasting into CS Pro that is the way on how to create the, the value sets in your program therefore we have already created the uh, records these records with respective items the respective questions and uh, in some questions we've included the value sets as you can see 